Hello, dear friends. Let us present you another innovation of our company. This time, it is a newly designed CRI-1 test bench. Based on the experience of our own work and studies of benches produced by other manufacturers, we made up our mind to build a test bench of our own. The unit structure relies on the traditional principles. The control zone with a computer, a monitor, a printer, a keyboard, and a mouse used to manipulate the test bench are on the right. The red emergency stop button is also on this side. The test chamber is on the left. It is designed to be quite roomy. Inside there is a common rail with a regulator and pressure sensors. A frame holding the injectors under test a high-pressure pipe and couplings for connecting the injectors to the measurement system. Behind the right door, in the lower part of the test bench, there are some shelves for tools and accessories, and the test bench control block. On the left, there is a fuel tank with a calibration fluid level indicating pipe. On top of it, there is a fluid collector. Here's a fuel filter, and on the left, a cooling radiator. On the door, there's a cable storage pocket. Now, let's look at the reverse side of the test bench. On the reverse side of the test chamber, there is a power supply unit, calibration fluid bleeders, an injector power cable, and a primary cooling radiator. The radiator installed at the calibration fluid drain from the DRV cools the system as the test bench operation mode is on. Below, there is a main radiator in charge of calibration fluid cooling. The measurement system of the test bench is a two-channel FM2 that measures parameters of one injector at a time. As an option for simultaneous testing of two or four injectors, FM4 or FM8 may be installed. Below, we see the main engine with a capacity of 4 kilowatts. Though it may seem excessive, the capacity ensures uninterrupted and steady low-speed operation. This engine drives a CP3 Bosch cargo pump. On the left-hand side, above the engine, there is an electric panel. There is a frequency driver of Schneider test bench and the electric circuit components. The main switch is behind it, installed on the bench wall. The test bench software offers a wide range of settings. In the injector testing process, we can see the dispensing schedule or immediate dispensing. We may generate oscillograms, indicating the driving pulse current waveform and system pressure. Testing a piezo injector, we may see the control voltage waveform. These are options for advanced users. The test bench library can keep over 2,700 test plans. The test bench library and software are updated using wireless internet connection. The system is updated for free. Now let's test a Denso nozzle. First, we enter the nozzle number and select it from the list. Then we select a previously created nozzle target. Start the testing. The test bench is on. Dispensing has started. The control system has a targeting function. 
A target is an internal test plan of the test bench tied to the individual fuel system configuration. A target is used for precise correction code development. Delphi nozzles are tested and coded in a similar way, but it takes much longer due to a greater number of checkpoints. The measurement mode is on. The dispensing is in process. We may turn on the nozzle controlling system oscillogram mode. It is also possible to create user's test plans. Individual signal forms may be developed, proving that diversity of the program settings. In the coding process, in the delivery diagram, we can see the test bench adjusting the nozzle control pulse time to generate the correction code. The test is coming to an end. The test bench requests a permission to assign the codes. We approve. Click on Show on the screen. At the moment, we won't enter the customer data. Here's the coding protocol. Let's print it out. When the test is over, we have a coding protocol made up in a new code. The CRI-1 test bench kit includes a wireless keyboard and a mouse, a colored printer with a cartridge, injector connection cables, as well as a high-pressure tube calibration tube leaders, adapters for connecting the injection and return to the injector, and a fuel gather holder with spare collets. A cost-effective option of the test bench is CRIE, supplied with the same cables and adapters, but without a printer, a wireless keyboard or a mouse attached, and without any coding functions activated. However, the coding functions can be purchased at any time. For customers, it is important to know that a two-week training course for fuel industry representatives with a due focus on the purchased equipment is included in the cost. To conclude, we have created a quite simple and reliable multi-brand test bench with the efficiency proven with our own experience. We recommend it to our customers.